Baik, kita teruskan dengan soalan nombor 11 Raya Melaka 2021 kertas 2 uh, In a questionnaire at a factory in Batu Beremban It was found that 3 out of 5 employees were vaccinated If 12 employees are randomly selected from the for, for questioning Calculate the probability that at least 10 employees have have, be, have been vaccinated Okay, the first one it was found that three out of five employees were vaccinated. So teacher boleh tulis probability vaccinated is equal to three over five. Probability employee not vaccinated is two over five. Okay. And then if 12 employees are randomly selected, so number of sample is 12, calculate the probability, calculate the probability that at least 10, it means X is greater or equal to 10, have been vaccinated. So this is equal to B X equal 10 plus B X equal 11 plus B X equal 12. Okay, at least 10 means 10, 10 and more. 10, 11, 12. Okay, now X now refer to vaccinated. So therefore, this one 3 over 5 will be B, 2 over 5 will be Q. So now we just we just substitute the information into the formula P X equal R and C R P power R Q power N minus R. So P X equal ten plus uh, this is equal to twelve C ten. P is three over five power ten. Two over five power 2. 12 minus 10 is equal to 2. Plus Px equal 11 is 12C11. Probability that the employee is vaccinated is 3 over 5. Number of employee is 11. Not vaccinated is 2 over 5 power 1. And then last one, Px equal 12. So this is equal to 12, C 12, 3 over 5 power 12, 2 over 5 power 0. 12 minus 12 is 0. And then you add all these. So the answer is equal to 0 0.08 0 0.08344 Okay. Okay, next question B. In a school SPM trial exam, all 100 50 students seek for additional mathematics subject. Okay. This is the value of N. Okay. Number of sample. The marks obtained follow a normal distribution. Kalau normal distribution, kita tahu it's a bell-shaped graph. With a mean of 48. So mean is equal to 48 and standard deviation is 16. Find the percentage of student who pass the trial examination if the passing marks is 40. Okay, so sekarang untuk soalan B1, mula-mula kita tahu dia taburan normal. Taburan normal kita tahu dia ada bell-shaped graph. The formula dalam, dalam taburan normal is Z 
is equal to x minus mean over standard deviation. So, kemudian kita ada maklumat apa? N150, mean 48, uh, standard deviation 16. Kemudian soalan kata, find the percentage of students who pass the trial examination if the passing marks, the passing mark is 40 means x is equal to 40. So, kita nak cari percentage, kita kena cari probability dulu. So, when x is equal to 40. So, probability when x is equal to 40. Sorry, passing marks is 40. It means x is greater or equal to 40. If you get 40 marks, so you pass. If you get more than 40 marks, also you pass. So, x is greater, equal or greater to 40. X is greater or equal to 40. So, this is equal to convert to z score. So, it will be z is greater than uh, substitute into this formula. So, x is 40 minus mean over standard deviation. So, this one it be z is greater or equal to negative 0 0.5. So, kalau kita nak wakil dekat graph, so graph kita akan rupa macam ni. Di sini asalnya ialah X, maka mean, mean ialah 48. For 40 marks will be less than 48. So, dia ada belah kiri. Greater or equal means kita shade this region. So, kalau daripada sini kita tahu jawapan kita is more than 50%. Okay, lebih daripada setengah graf, so jawapan kita lebih, mesti lebih daripada 50%. Then kita convert ini, graf ini kita convert kepada z score uh, kepada uh, stand, uh, stand, no, standard normal graf. So di sini kita tulis z, so mean akan jadi 0. So negat, bila z negatif 0.5 agak ada belah kiri lah. Uh, 48 tu, 40 tu equivalent to negative 0.5. So, besar daripada sini. So, kita tahu kalau kawasan lebih besar, kita tekan kalkulator R. So, awak tekan R negatif 0.5. Ambil kalkulator, tekan mode uh, mode SD. Lepas tu, shift 3. So, pilih R. Masuk negatif 0.5. Equal. So, the answer is equal to 0 0.6915 Tapi soalan tadi dia bukan nak probability Dia nak percentage So we multiply by 100 Percentage is equal to 69.15% Okay kita pick ke soalan B2 if 4% of the student pass trial examination with the A+, plus, find the minimum marks obtained uh, to obtain the A. So, if 4% of student pass the trial examination with the A+, plus, find the minimum mark. So, kita nak cari apa? Nak cari X. Okay, yang kita ada 4% ni, kita punya nilai apa? Nilai probability which is the area of the graph, luas graph kita. Okay, kalau teacher pergi wakil dekat graph, so the graph will be like this. X, we know that the mean mark is 48. So the minimum mark to get A plus, we don't know, but it, for sure it will be on the right hand side because it must be more than 48 because the passing mark is 40. Okay, here is the passing mark, 40. So A plus should be higher marks. So, yang kita nak cari tu X yang kat sini. Berapa? Okay, this area is 4%. 4% tu bersamaan dengan 0.04. So, sekarang kalau kita nak cari X, kita guna calculator. Eh, sorry. Kita guna table. So, P tengok table awak. Uh, take. Okay. Table, P cari 0, kita nak cari berapa? 0 0.04. 0 0.04. Oke, 
Okay, kita tak ada ngam-ngam 0.04 but we have 0.0401. Okay, kita ada ni 0.0401. So, kita baca jawapan kita will be 1.7 atas dia kita naik sikit. Atas dia ialah 5. Okay. So kita baca, kita baca Z kita. Z kita ialah 1.75. Okay kita nak 0.04. So kita ada access. Kita kita nak 0.04. Tapi yang kita baca tu ialah 0.04. 401. So kita ambil 401 minus uh, 4. So kita ada excess 1 lah. Okay 01. Okay. So kita ada lebih 1. So kita P dekat sini. Sebaris dengan sini kita nak minus 1. So minus 1 kita ambil atas 1. So jawapan kita akan jadi 1.7 5, 1. Okay, 1.751. So, P kat sini. So, yang ni, yang ni, uh, yang kita baca tadi, oh, sorry, yang kita baca tadi tu ialah Z lah, Z score. So, Z is equal to 1.751. Okay, 1.751. So, yang kita Okay, kita tahu kalau ini maka kita nak cari X tapi kita kena convert graph tu kepada graph Z. So sini Z. Mean yang 48 tu jadi 0. Uh, yang ni still 0.04. Sini Z ialah 1.751. Okay yang ni kita compare dengan ini. Kita macam mana kita nak ubah daripada X jadi Z score. The formula is Z is equal to X minus mean over standard deviation. So Z is 1.751. X kita nak cari minus mean tadi. Mean tadi 48 over standard deviation 16. Mean ambil yang tadi tu lah. Yang mula-mula tadi. Mana tadi lah. Ah ni. Okay kita guna maklumat ni. Okay. Min Min 48 Standard deviation 16 So yang ni kita cuba kira habiskan saja So 1.751 times 16 And then you plus 48 So you get the value of X so X is equal to 67.06. Okay, so to get A plus, the student must score 76% and above. Okay, 76.02 marks. Okay, that's it untuk soalan nombor 11.